Beard, and Ubisoft, and welcome back to G Police Weapons of Justice on this throwback Thursday. We are going to continue with Mission 3 Remote Control. Intelligence reports that a small group of covert gang operatives have broken into a G Police storage area in Danner Dome, using freighters packed with explosives to access the individual warehouses. Two impounded Nanosoft bombers have been powered up and flown via remote control out of the compound, attempting to escape to a neighboring dome. The two bombers have since been sighted, grounded, apparently out of fuel. Be aware that they have probably been primed to self-destruct. Time is of the essence. Use your EPP weapon to disable the bomber's computer systems, then proceed quickly to the G-Police storage area and intercept any other escaping craft. Once the area has been secured, track the signal from the remote receiver unit on board the Nanosoft bombers back to its source and destroy it. All right, you heard her. Let's get this thing started. Got to get these bombers before they go crazy. Fly into the tunnel and EPP the two downed bombers for the recovery team. All right, you heard him. Let's get this started. Recovery operation is go. Thanks for the assistance, Alpha Wing. Gotcha. Threat neutralized. Move quickly to the storage area. There are gang freighters over the warehouses. Scanners confirm they are loaded with explosives. Let's hit it. We're going to try to EPP as uh, many things as we can. They don't want us to destroy anything. EPP those bombers before they escape. Strange, the bomber I'm tracking is not attempting escape. They're moving to the airbase construction yard. Objective update. Protect the airbase construction yard. Good work, Alpha Wing. A rearm has been made available aboard the airbase. Cool. Land on the airbase. Actually, get to use our uh, brand new airbase. Our tech staff have traced the remote control signal to a transmitter not far from here. Follow your waypoint to the signal source. Destroy the transmitter. Copy that. Take our bombs, secret missiles. Destroy transmitter. Another signal source has been located. Oh, wrong one. Destroy transmitter. Another signal source has been located. the base down there. I'll take the fighters. Might as well take them out as well. We got, we got one more. Bye. Take out the turrets before we call that ground team. There's 
ground team coming. Remote signal lost. Great work. Heavy APC. Definitely. Definitely the way to go on that one. Alright, EPP, the bombers for the GP lease recovery vessel. Move to storage area and prevent hardware from escaping. Land on the airbase, rearm. Restore remote control. Stop one of the gang fires before it destroys the GP warehouse. There you go. We got it all complete. Good job. The attack on the G Police storage area demonstrated unprecedented organization and ingenuity on the part of the gangs involved. It is now believed that these criminal elements are organizing themselves into a syndicate. The use of technical apparatus to orchestrate this assault leads our intelligence division to believe that highly skilled Nanosoft employees are offering their services to this criminal syndicate. The loss of the bombers would have weakened the special investigator's case against the corporation, not to mention grade A military products falling into the hands of organized gang members, increasingly destabilizing G Police control on Callisto. Further offensives by the crime syndicate are likely. Yep. Well, it would have made sense that Nanosoft has PO'd at G Police, seeing as how they totally destroyed their whole plans for everything. So yeah, we were able to get that taken care of, and I'm very happy about that. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And of course, we shall see you on the next video. Take care, and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.